Nicole Brown Simpson. Knee Brown to some. Born May 19, 1959. She was the ex wife of former professional American football player O.J. Simpson. But on June 12, 1994, there was a homicide by way of stabbing and slaying took place. And the outcome was of that or those of the murder of Nicole Brown Simpson and her friend, Ron the Model Goldsmith also was waiter. When did that happen? That literally happened wee hours in the morning going into the 13th, they say, of June of the year of 1994. In the early morning hours of June 13th, 1994, Brown and her friend, waiter and model Goldman, were found stabbed to death outside her Los Angeles condominium. And moments after that, a chase, police chase ensued. Well, actually, they was chasing him. <laughs> he was trying to get home to his mama. Mama! <laughs> but then I wanted to bring you up to date with some real information, with some real news, with some real truth, and not just what the elites wanted us to do and say and believe. Nicole Nee, as she is sometimes affectionately called, Brown Simpson had, excuse me, has two children, Sydney Brooke Simpson and Justice. Ryan Simpson. She also has sisters, Denise and Tanya and Dominique, Marguerite, Tracy, Roth, and Wendy. And I hope I didn't fit anybody. And a mother and a father, Miss Judith Brown. And Mr. Lewis Brown. She still have all of those people. And they still have her. <laughs> Let me show you. <laughs> because wow... We were too busy believing the lies and the narratives. People were still living their lives and probably getting a good old giggle off of how we believe what they put on the tell a vision. Let's take a look at this beautiful person because she's still alive and she's been around and it's in your face, as JFK Jr. says. Remember, she had a widow's peak right here. Well, there it is. Look at the eyes. 
And I'm not trying to be funny or disrespectful, but look at that big, long head. <laughs> she had a big, long head. Okay? That is none other than Nicole. Some affectionately call her knee. Brown Simpson. Let's take a look. Welcome to the Megan Kelly Show, your home for open, honest, and provocative conversations. So, before we take a look at her, <laughs> and that is her, we're going to take a look at the one that we knew her of. Before. Here she is. Now let's look for the widow's peak. Right here. Here it is. And there it is again. Let me see if I can find some more for you. Right here. Right there. Right there. Right there. So now that you've got a look at the old her, well, it's still her. <laughs> um, let's, why don't we go on and take a gallop, good look, and focus in on the Megan. Kelly show. Now, this is just four hours ago. Literally. You don't believe me? Here you go. Megan Kelly. 5.4K views. Premiered four hours ago. Uh-huh. So, let's take a look. Hey everyone, I'm Megan Kelly. Welcome to the Megan Kelly Show and happy Friday. Coming up later this show, we are going to end this week with some much needed laughs and a heartfelt conversation with stand up comedian Jim Brewer, former Saturday Night Live alum. He is such a thoughtful guy. It's been a pleasure preparing for this interview with him. I think you're going to you're going to love him. Not only is he So, I wanted you to take a look at her teeth as she talked. Very funny. He's not afraid of a little controversy. My kind of guy. <laughs> He's this is the guy who refused to do stand-up routines in venues that wouldn't allow you in if you were unvaccinated because he didn't think it was fair. Um, he's not afraid to take a stand, and he will be here in, in just a little bit. But first, we're going to start today with the latest developments in the Kyle Rittenhouse trial. Late yesterday, the prosecution submitted into evidence a new photo of Kyle Rittenhouse. Okay, so, you're probably wondering, okay, so, what was that, and why did they take us through all that, and the, the, the police chase, and da-da-da-da. The jury's still out on that. I still have questions, and some answers I do have, and some I don't. Um, But what I definitely can tell you is, all around this world, as they have been, the White Hats, President Trump, JFK Jr., and President number 35, JFK, have uh, had this in motion for years, 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 excuse me, they have been putting their people in place. She was one of them. Ha! Brilliant! Don't you think? Ha! Now, come on, let's finish watching this, because I got stuff to do. House is 
This is what they believe is, pardon the term, their smoking gun um, from the night of the shootings. They actually just got their hands on this evidence and are trying to make a big deal out of it. Um, lawyer Andrew Branca, who's been really uh, such a smart commentator on this case, uh, I read him over at Legal Insurrection, he specializes in self-defense. He's been following every single development in this thing from the beginning. He called the photo the prosecution's last desperate lunge for evidence of guilt. Um, and speaking of de desperate lunges, we're going to get into the media's latest smearing of Rittenhouse. My God, they've been terrible. Ter I mean, especially terrible on this case. Plus, Kyle Rittenhouse's mom uh, has a new message for President Biden about a tweet he sent last out last year about her son. Talk about rushing to judgment. The, the now president of the United States. So let teeth. Let me see if I can find one with the teeth. Let's see. Because most of the, most of these people not gonna believe it, and they gonna wanna probably uh take themselves out. <laughs> is jumping all over the place. Okay, so here we go. Got you. I need to see the bottom teeth. Okay, so I couldn't find one with her mouth smiling, you know, like like that. So we'll keep it moving right along. Then a candidate labeled her son a white supremacist. <laughs> this is where we are, right? Like no need for a trial. I'll just tell you who he is. How, what does he know? He doesn't know anything. Joining me now to discuss all of it, former prosecutor, current criminal defense attorney, and longtime friend and guest of Kelly's court, Mark Eichler. Mark, good to see you. So um, this... <laughs> The trial appears to be, I mean, it, they both rested. The defense rested. It's over. And now they're instructing, they're coming up with the jury instructions, which are going to be super important given all the self-defense issues going on here. Let's just start with that because Kyle Rittenhouse's whole defense is not that he did, well, he did it in self-defense. I just and, um, wanted to bring I that how, to your like, attention. And so now you can go to the Megan Kelly show. And check her out. She's still alive and still with us. 